I really think that this is the foundation for rebuilding American manufacturing, all North American manufacturing. I don't look at any machining company in the U.S. as my competitor. How are we supposed to grow if we don't support our neighbor? It's just a great way to meet some of the local shop owners, machinists, manufacturing engineers, learn about new technologies. What can I say? I love machining and I want to keep doing this. It's really awesome. What's up, y'all? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Becoming a Practical Machinist. I'm Rebecca Wolfinger of Millspec Manufacturing. Now today, you might recognize we are not at home in North Carolina at Millspec Manufacturing. I am actually up here in Pennsylvania at none other than B&B Dynamic Machining. And you might recognize the owner, Brett Lister. He's done a shop tour before. If you want to watch that, click the link over here. But we are having something called a manufacturing collaboration meeting where all the neighboring machine shops in this area are coming together to talk about industry issues, um, share insights, do demos on tools and softwares, and it's quite incredible. So I wanted to bring you guys with me, show you what's going on, and hopefully we can recreate this across America. So let's go inside. Tell me about these collaboration meetings because this is really bringing community together. So they actually started last February and from the book, uh, Napoleon Hill's uh, Think and Grow Rich, it was kind of like a mastermind group that I was thinking about. What it, uh, turned out to be a mastermind group started out as a collaboration group. There's two guys that, uh, manufacturing manager of Rain Precision, Kale, and then Marcio, the owner of Max Machining. I know these two guys were about collaboration, and from there it kind of just grew. Um, so we've done three cutting tool demos. We've actually had Keons in here for their optical um, in inspection equipment. And last November, we've actually had a um, business strategist come out and talk to the group. Everything is always for free. It's just about community helping community. Mm -hmm. um, some of us even trade a little bit of work. Some of us let each other use other people's uh, equipment. Oh, wow. It's just really about helping each other out and making sure that American manufacturing uh, comes back. Nothing is too serious, for <laughs> yeah. lack of a better term, as everyone found out tonight. It's a bunch of machinists. Yeah, yeah. Guys. Or we'll find out tonight. <laughs> it's not going to be super straight lace. <laughs> I imagine at least not. No, no. <laughs> and the reason I wanted to bring the camera and bring you guys into this tonight is because I really think that this is the foundation for rebuilding American manufacturing, all North American manufacturing, because how are we supposed to grow if we don't support our neighbor, you know? I don't look at any machining company in the U.S. as my competitor. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of work to go around. My competitors are India, China, mm -hmm. and overseas. Those are my competitors. Yeah, and uh, we've had a lot of influx of people bringing their stuff from China over to us. And I'm like, look, if I my shop can't do it, I will find you another shop to do it. And I'm not going to be a middleman. Like, I know a lot of people hate me for that. It's like, I have no desire to take a cut. I want it to go to somebody else and, you know, build a relationship. And because ultimately that work goes to them, feeds back into the communities, feeds back into the local economy, and it just helps everybody in the end. Yes, I actually just had a customer call me last week. His name's Elijah. Um, he wasn't sure if I remembered him. I said, absolutely, Elijah, I remember you. You actually comment or like my LinkedIn stuff. I appreciate that. Um, so again, he gave me a job with lathe of live tooling to quote. I have a lathe and I have a mill. I do not have a lathe of live tooling. Mm -hmm. It did not hesitate to recommend Marcio up at Max Machining. Mm -hmm. um, he called me up about a week ago and he's like, Brett, I just really want to thank you for that recommendation. They're actually taking on all our machining oh, work. Nice. And this is, I never expected anything out of Marcio. I didn't expect anything out of, you know, a kickback or any, I don't, like Rebecca, I don't want to be yeah. a middleman. I don't want a commission. I want to make sure that Elijah's work was getting done in the U.S. Yeah, and that's what happened. Um, and again, and it, that's where I was at a couple weekends ago, grinding on his grinder because <laughs> my grinder's a little grinder. And he had a big grinder, and again, it was just I, I scratched his back, he scratches mine, and I knew without hesitation that it would be a yes from yeah. Marcio. And what you guys don't see is when I walked in here, he had an entire table of like catered food and it smells fantastic and I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> yeah, like I said, everything's free. The business strategists, he came in and talked to the group for free. All the cutting tool demos, not only are they free, but we actually get to give away a lot of the tools that are in the demo, that are used in the demo. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but they actually bring in brand new tools extra that we can give out afterwards. So yeah. I've actually raffled them off on LinkedIn. Well, I hear people starting to come in, so let's go ahead and end this little short clip and we'll, we'll bring you guys along and show you how the meeting goes tonight. All right, let's cut some chips yep. with some AI. Let's do it. So we're here tonight to see what AI can do as far as programming. I want to get through this quick enough that you guys can see me program the part.
I've been attending these collaboration meetings for probably about a year now. And uh, it's just a great way to meet some of the local shop owners, machinists, manufacturing engineers, uh, learn about new technologies. That's one of the things Brett's really focused on that's been great. It's great seeing other people, uh, especially people from LinkedIn that you haven't met before, uh, like Rebecca, and um, just collaborating on different ideas. Uh, a month ago, somebody came in with a part that they were having trouble making, and we all just cut, kind of got together and threw out some ideas on what they could try and you know, found out that they were successful with it. So that's the kind of stuff that happens here that is really awesome. I came up under the school in Ron Sizer down at the Community College of Philadelphia CNC machining program, and now I work for Brett Lister out here. And um, I'm just getting into machining. I love the community that they have going on with these collaboration meetings. Everybody's kind to me. Anytime I need some help or I got some questions, I got people that I can ask, people that's gonna help me. Uh, constantly learning. I just started anything with machining in September and Ron Sizer's class. What can I say? I love machining and I wanna keep doing this. Today I wanted to come down and take a look at Brett's CNC's because uh, we have a CNC in our tool room. I'm hoping I can teach some uh, apprentices in there, maybe a tool maker or two. I gotta say these collaboration meetings are a great idea. We've been doing it for a little over a year and a half now when Brett first started. And the good thing is all the shops are in a different spot and where they are in their development. We've been around for about 40 years, Brett's newer, and it's a good way to share ideas so we can see uh, both new and old ways how things are done. And then we can discuss these things and try to come up, or like to find a better way when we run into areas where we're having troubles trying to get something done. And it can be either machining, quoting, uh, organizing the shop. There's just a lot of different good ways to brainstorm to help come up with whatever kind of problems you currently have. Came here to see the uh, demonstration of the uh, AI, uh, the toolpath, which I thought was pretty cool. Now I know that, that what he makes integrates with Fusion, so that's uh, pretty neat. Well, I mean, what a meeting. We had close to 20 people tonight. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us again and seeing what these collaboration meetings are all about. If you are interested in starting this yourself, just know you don't have to be the biggest shop, you don't have to be the fanciest, you don't even need to have catering food. People just want to come together and talk. And as Brett said, you can get free demos coming in too and you know, run software or have a tooling demo. You know, it's it doesn't have to be big and fancy. Just just talk to your neighbors. But I'm gonna wrap it up now, guys. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Becoming a Practice Machinist. And I will catch you on the next episode. Bye guys. <laughs>